So if we look at the video here, the best note-taking apps, I shared the note-taking apps that I'm using. And I also explained why you shouldn't maybe use these tools and explained that you have to use the tools that work best for your specific workflows, okay? But the comments below, well, they're pretty obvious. So one was, I wish you would show the tools in use because here I was showing on a whiteboard the bird's eye view of the note-taking system that I'm using here, assuming that you understand how to use the tools and now to explain how these fit together. So if you want to check this out, watch the video first before you watch this one. This being said, I heard you guys. I wish you would show the tools in use. Also, why not Notion? Why not Evernote? Why not Obsidian? As I say in the video and in all the other videos as well, it's very specific what tools work best for you. We consider the tools that I showed in the video are best for personal knowledge management. It's easy to capture information, to move forward information from shallow and deep thinking and all these things. And that's why I'm using the tools that I showed in this video and Paco using the tools I showed in the video, our co-founder of the Pebbles Movement. And many of our busy professional members are also concluded these are the best tools for them. But it doesn't mean it's possible for you. Maybe you're stuck in the Microsoft ecosystem. It doesn't matter. The Paris Movement and the ICO methodology is here to help you to improve your productivity system in a tool agnostic way. So why not Notion? I'm happy to make another video to compare Notion with, for example, Heptabase in order to show you the reasons why I'm using one over the other. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to do this. But now we are making this video according to a, another comment, especially this one. Can you do a video showing an example of moving something from Tana to Heptabase? Because I mentioned in the videos that we are using Tana for shallow thinking and Heptabase for deep thinking. This could now mean for many people out there we need to duplicate information and things like that. It's much easier than you think. I also see here, I feel your videos are getting more superficial, like you give minor tips and then promote your course. Would love to see deeper insights on how you manage your workflows. All right. Well, I'm promoting the course, especially the i journey and all the courses that I included in this one, because we have over a dozen of concepts and workflows helping you to move information into action. It's not something you can pack in a 13 minute video and giving you all this. I give you many videos where I dive into these concepts and workflows on this YouTube channel. However, if you're serious about taking your productivity system to the next level, there is no other way than going through the i journey, which takes longer than being on a YouTube channel and watching the videos. This being said, what I'm giving away here is really the pain points the things that we realize also with our inner circle coaching program with our members there these aha moments that's when people tell us what they're really suffering with and we explain how things can be set up in a different way and then they have the revelation and things work much better that's exactly what you get on this youtube channel and i think this is really helping so many people out there to get this aha moment. But if you're really serious about building a productivity system end to end, then we have the i journey and soon we also have our i book available then helping you to get this going in a holistic way. And there's one more comment, right? Saying alternative tip, protein suite, standard notes, UPDF, simple mind. So alternative tip, this is what I think is pretty dangerous on the web. If people ask on social media, what's the best note taking app, right? You get recommendations like Notion, uh, Avenal, whatever, Obsidian. These tips are nonsense. They are not related to your specific use case. So if one says alternative tips, so no offense there, thanks for sharing the, your setup there, what you're using. But he says perfect for personal use case. What is your personal use case? What is your daily job, right? What are you working? Are you a student? Are you a busy professional? These are really different lives, different kind of information that you need to manage on a daily basis, to need to access, maybe need to share with the team. All this is not included in saying perfect for personal use case and what I try in these videos is always trying to give real life examples and we focus on busy professionals and not on students on this channel so I'm sorry about that but this makes it possible that we give the best recommendation for professionals who are suffering a busy life every day sitting in meetings trying to connect information with actions trying to extract action from emails and things like that